What's going on, my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because we're going to be showing off a little bit different of a strategy on how to play Meteor. I actually tried to put out this video not too long ago, and I played one game, started to play one game, and completely just went away from my whole idea. Okay, this is what we're doing. I think most times people are playing Fiery Bolide. eyed I tried to make a video on Burning Comet. I didn't understand it at all and immediately switched it up and went right back to, to Fiery Bolide. We're going to be showing off Burning Comet because it is actually really, really good if you understand how to play it and how it actually works. So let's read it real quick. There's a 35% chance of a meteor appearing on the on the battlefield with a flaming orb, okay? When merging, this meteor summons a comet, instantly killing common monsters in a small area. Instantly killing common monsters, no matter what the level is, or no matter what wave you're on, okay? And damaging bosses and mini bosses for 20% of their health, okay? So what a lot of people say when they're playing this is that you have to have another damage unit in your deck, okay? Most people play this with Minotaur. That's what we're going to be doing today. I would love to try out some different combinations with Meteor that would do damage because you don't need to build up orbs like with Fiery Bolide. You're not trying to get to 300 merges or anything like that. It's irrelevant, okay? You're going to kill all small monsters no matter what, and you're going to always do a percent damage on the bosses so it's just a totally different way of playing it i think it's really really cool we're also rocking the uh, magic cauldron talents we've got mana elixir uh cooling potion to do a little bit of slow overflow and uh potion growth i think that's it we're gonna be rocking snowflake i cannot wait until we get a snowflake level five because then i believe it actually does some slow i just i'm gonna check that real quick um duh, 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 duh. no i might be level 10 <laughs> But without further ado, let's jump into the first battle today and see if we can get a win with this new strategy. All right, and here we go. Let's do it. So we're going up against Blade Dancer, which always makes me nervous because Blade Dancer, if you're playing against Blade Dancer on the ladder, typically it's going to be a max Blade Dancer. That seems to be how this goes. And as you know with Blade Dancer, they're going to be outputting damage like no other card in the game until like wave four or five, and then they'll have a little bit of a hard time. But it's gonna be our job to actually get to wave four or five, which is uh, which is no easy task, especially if we're playing around with something that we're not totally accustomed to. But this is why I have the cards in this deck that I do, okay? You kinda have to have Minotaur in here because it's gonna be doing that extra damage. Uh, you, I love having, I shouldn't say you should have cauldron but i love having cauldron in here because it's also going to be doing a little bit of damage it's also going to be doing a little bit of slow and it's also going to be giving you a ton of mana so like i said earlier we don't care about building up meteors or you know doing a ton of damage with meteors we don't care about that so for, for wave one or two we can go full snowflake full uh cauldron damage full uh, media uh, minotaur damage I'm probably not going to use one Meteor this entire wave, and it doesn't matter because we're not trying to build towards anything, which I think is a really, really fun uh, and different kind of way of playing Meteor. So here we go. 32 seconds. We're going to be leveling up our Meteor. We've only got one Meteor on our board right now, but uh, with Snowflake, depending on where our board sits... I may or may not use my Snowflake either on this wave or on Puppeteer. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to use it. Well, we're, look at it. It's a Minotaur. Our Minotaur is only level 8. You guys probably already saw that, but just a note. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Snowflake. All right, I'm just going to do this. I'll just do that. It's only going to do a percent. Did it go? I don't even know if it hit. Doesn't matter. We've got plenty of mana. I didn't even see it come down, but it might have just lagged at a weird time. 
On to Assassin. All right, so far so good. I think Cold Mage would also be a decent thing to put in here. I know that's pretty typical. But for damage, I really want to start brainstorming what would work well for damage because it's all about the fact that we're not killing units with our with our Meteor. We're just hurting them a lot. So we need something that also hurts them a lot or just takes them takes them out at the end so i'm thinking maybe executioner maybe you know i don't know maybe like alchemist or ivy or something could be really interesting i don't know different types of things could work in different ways i'm just gonna hit my minotaur right there because why not do a little bit of damage but right right now we have used one meteor this entire game and we didn't even need to use that meteor so we're gonna make it to wave two or make it to wave three realistically without even using meteors i might just do a do a cauldron right there i'll copy another one do a little damage do a little slow make a <clears throat> get down tonight you know we're just gonna do this spamming out a little bit but they're cruising they're cruising they're coming fast and then they go all the way back to which they came 19 seconds so i think kind of the difference in this is I'm not worried so much about using these on mini bosses. I think the fact that it says something about mini bosses makes people think that this version is better for mini bosses. It's not really. It takes out waves. It's better for regular monsters, and you're just doing a little bit of damage. Ah, I should have done that. Hooey! Uh, you're just doing a little bit of damage, a percent damage, 20% damage, to bosses and mini bosses. But really, you're using the, the bolide or whatever the heck it is to clear waves and kill the regular monsters. Okay, 10 seconds. Uh, I'm just going to hit my snowflake right here. Try to get it utilized as much as I can. Let's wait for a mini boss. I'm going hit to a, hit a minotaur right there. Do a little slow. Do a little damage. Let's work them back to our portal. I might just combine out right here. Do I have any meteors? Uh, no. I'll just combine out a couple of times. Now we have a meteor. We've got 8,000 mana. We've only got one. Uh, we actually have a rank two right there, which is good. Let's wait until our snowflake. 40 seconds. I'm going to hit my snowflake as soon as possible. And look at these guys building up right here. This is what it's all about. I'm going to do this. And it's going to take out so many of the mini bosses. Or not the mini bosses. The mini monsters. While also doing a good percent damage on our boss. And then we can kind of just take it out slowly and steadily right here if we you know eventually eventually don't you take a hit come on oh baby okay let's go right here that'll do pretty good i'm gonna hit my snowflake i'm gonna hit one of these and i'm gonna just hit one more to try and take out a few more mini monsters <clears throat> and now let's use one of our regular meteors to take out a boss a little sketchy, but we got 12,000 mana. We can spam out a little bit more if we want to. We currently don't have any bolides. We don't need them. I think that's what they're called. Uh, let's just keep on continuing on here. Let's go. Da, 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 da. I'm just going to do that. Do a snowflake. Guys, if you are enjoying this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Like the video. Share the channel with your friends if you think they would enjoy the content. You guys know. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do a little slow, a little slow. We're going to go here. A little bit of panic. Okay, let's let him build up a little bit more here. I'll do that. I'll do that. He's hit me with a good game. Relax. It's not a GG. Come on now. What do you think this is? Think this is my first rodeo, sir? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> uh, we're not. I'm not even gonna waste my time trying to take out this tribunal before it hits, cause it's just not gonna happen. Uh, I might just hit this with a little bit of slow. We've got some mana. I'll do that as well. And yeah, I don't think we'll take this tribunal out. Eh, we might have a chance. I'll hit that. We got a lot of mana. Oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> I'm sure this guy has a max uh, blade dancer. I'm sure of it. I'm absolutely positive. I'm going to hit one of these uh, Minotaurs right now. I'm going to do a little bit of snowflaking right here. But look, and he's still holding on for dear life. I'm going to do a Meteor. 
Uh, we can copy one of these. Let's take one of these out. Okay, we did that. Oh, uh, I'll do that as well. Just a little bit of extra slow. I'll do another one. Do I have another one? I'll do this. I gotta start spamming out here. I'll do another one. Let's go here. I can hit my snowflake. We've still got some beefy meteors here. Let's do that. I think that'll be pretty sick. We're taking that out slow and steady. I'm going to go right here. We've got another bolide right there. And I'll do one more. Ooh, just in the nick of time. Okay, let's see if we can take out this, uh, this bedlam. We'll do one right there. I'll do another one, a nice big one. Okay, so we've got some time. I mean, we've got a big one right there, man. Ah. <laughs> and we took it out. We've still got some meteors. We still got 5,000 mana. He got switched all over the place. Welcome to the YouTube channel, baby. Welcome. Oh, my gosh. We still got to survive, though. That's the only thing. All right, let's do that right there. Let's make sure that we're not, like, in any chance of losing. I got to take these guys out quick. Uh, I'm going to do another one right here. I'm going to hit my snowflake. We're going to go there. Let's hit this guy there. I'm going to copy one. And there is a victory. Hit him with a good game. Guys. Seriously. Okay, I don't know what he's got. Level 13. Level 13. Trickster's nothing crazy. Equipment's nothing crazy. But check out the, okay, crit, yes, I've got him by 1,000 crit. But card levels, he's got me by four levels in a legendary. That's really significant. Level 13 Blade Dancer. Let me move it over here so you can actually see the camera. Versus a level 9 Meteor. Yes, I think Meteor is typically better than Blade Dancer, but that is a massive, massive difference in legendary level. I don't mind that at all. And he hit me with a GG when he thought I was going to lose. We still had like 12,000 mana at the point when he hit me with a GG. But it was a little bit spooky. I, You know, it's, it's October. It was a little spooky. I get it. One win in the books. Let's jump right into another one and see if we can continue to show off this deck that is uh, low-key blowing my mind. Into our second game that we go. Let's see if we can get a second win right in a row here. We got our Cauldron. Puppeteers first. And let's just keep on continuing on because I'm really, really liking this strategy. I'm wondering if there's probably a better uh, mm, substitute in this deck. I don't know. I feel like I feel like Minotaur is a must. Cauldron, maybe, maybe not. Obviously, Meteor is a must. Um, but I'm wondering if Cold Mage would be really, really good in this deck. Or maybe even something like Executioner could be really interesting. You put that in your deck and it finishes off some of the monsters. But I feel like slow is pretty crucial because those monsters are steaming around our board like we saw in the last game. And it's really, really sketchy to where I'd like this deck to be a little bit more consistent rather than them hitting me with a GG because they think the game's over and maybe they're right and maybe they're wrong. But it's pretty funny either way. Um, but it is pretty cool. But guys, if you want to catch me live... I do live stream. We might be, if you're watching this right when this video goes live, we're live right now. We're live exclusively on Twitch. So come on by and hang out. It's just twitch.tv slash game by the beach. And we'd absolutely love to have you guys there. The schedule is Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, as well as Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can play with me, play against me, challenge me, ask me to play a deck that you're trying out or you hate or I don't know. Uh, anything you want or if you just want to hang out, Hang out. We might be playing this deck, trying it out, because it is a bit of fun. And I think one of the best parts about this deck is it's almost irrelevant what card levels you have. Because it's a percent damage on bosses, and because it always kills the the yeah, the um, regular monsters, it doesn't matter how high a level your meter, meteor is. It doesn't matter how much crit you have, because it's only based upon those numbers. So it can be pretty effective at almost any level especially mine's only level nine guys so if i can find wins you might be able to find wins too okay so i'm gonna start off with this i'm gonna do that as well can we take that out please without it ranking me down take it out don't you you bum you absolute bum look at all these mines go away all right rank three mine that's what i wanted 
Gonna have to max out our cauldron once again. That's not ideal. My man's playing... I actually made a video on this deck recently. Demon Hunter with Chemist. I'm now in favor of Demon Hunter Mime rather than Chemist. And hopefully... <laughs> we can prove that by beating this guy with this strategy. That's what it's all about. But let's continue on. I like where we're at so far. Other than the rank 3 Mime, that's just far too high. Go away. Uh, but we do have a guy right here with an orb. We've got a couple of Minotaurs. We're maxing out our stuff as soon as we can. We've got a handful of cauldrons. I might just do a Minotaur right there. I was hoping uh, to find another cauldron. Because we only got three. We got another Meteor. I'll take whatever I can get here. And uh, 49 seconds. I'm going to hit my Snowflake. Flake. ASAP. And we're going to continue on. Okay? Building them all up. That's why I think Cold Mage would be really good. Because it builds them all up together, and then you hit them with the Bolide, takes out all the mini monsters. Could be pretty cool. Plus, it's like a little bit of damage over time, you know? Minotaur's doing a little bit of damage, Cold Maid's doing a little bit of damage, and the Meteor can come in and, and do a little bit of damage, and hopefully, you know... Well, actually, it's the other way around. Cold Mage and, and uh, Minotaur will, will finish it off to where Meteor is doing the initial damage. That's actually how, how it would work. All right, we got our Snowflake. We're hanging out. We're doing nothing. I might, uh, yeah, I'll hit my Snowflake now, and I'll do my Orb at the last possible second. I'll do it right now. That's last possible second-ish, right? Ish? All right, let's do our Meteor. Can that take it out? 170? You never really know. You never really know. Sometimes I lose to, like, 600k bosses for no apparent reason. Sometimes I can take a million out with a rank one meteor. It, you know what? It kind of baffles me how that works. Now we've got a rank three uh, Harlequin over there. Our cauldron's leveling things up left and right just for the fun of it. Okay. I see you. Let's just rank out a couple of things. Okay, we found a meteor there. I'm going to do a minotaur because I feel like we need some other stuff here. I'm going to do this. Might as well copy that for the time being. And uh, I might as well do that as well. Another, minute, another uh, meteor is good. I'll do this. That'll do some pretty good damage. And uh, let them build up, take out the... You, you'll see. So we're doing the initial damage with the Meteor. Getting finish off with the Minotaur. I'm going to hit my Snowflake as soon as I can. We don't currently have... I'm just going to merge those guys out. Any, anything is more useful than what I have on the board right now. Uh, okay, let's do, a, let's do a Cold Mage. Cold Mage. I got Cold Mage on the brain, I guess. Meteor... Minotaur, Meteor, there's too many words that sound similar. Minotaur again. I'll just do a regular Meteor because that's all I got. Cold Mage, I'll hit my Snowflake. We got an orb right there. We can hit it. One second. Ooh, did we get it? Virus? Okay. Virus is a little bit of an interesting one. I'll just do a normal one. Almost 300 to go through. And uh, I'll merge that out just to get rid of it. Why not? And okay, so we still don't have any rank 2 Meteors, which is not ideal. I guess we have to just combine out at this point. Okay, we got another rank 1. That's good. That's not terrible. Snowflake, these uh, fast monsters are sprinting around our board. I'm going to hit my Snowflake right now. I'm going to do a little bit of a slow right there. Maybe do a little bit more, actually. We'll combine out also. I'll do another one right there. I'm going to do a... An orb right there. We're going to combine out here. We're going to do one, another one right there. Let's do a nice big meteor here. A little slow. Uh, I guess we combine out here. We'll do this. We need our snowflake pretty... Can you merge, please? Thank you. Do a little slow. All right. We can spam out a couple of these. One of these got to be an orb. No, sir. There's an orb. I guess we'll do this. We'll do that. We'll do... All right. We have an orb there. That's beautiful. And, uh, Warlock. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. We got a nice big merge here. So that'll do high damage. Uh, I don't know what the heck that was, but... And now we can do a normal one. Oh, my Lanta. That did nada. Normal one. Bro, oh, give me a break, dude. Four thousand mana. We spammed till kingdom come. How's he doing over there? Thirty-eight tiers. Oh, he could easily get to forty if he wanted to, but apparently he doesn't want to. I'm nervous, to say the least. I am nervous. 
I don't know if we're going to end up winning this game. I think they're just going too fast for us, dude. We need some slow. Uh, we could do that. Kill out all those mini bosses. Okay. Uh, we got another one. Let's do another one. I'm going to do that. We've still got some... Uh, we got a spam like craziness is our middle name. And we're going to run out of... We're going to run out of uh, juice. Oh, my Lanta. Keep going. All right, we can do all the mini bosses. Come on, don't you slip my fingers now. Oh, we took a hit. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, we got a meteor. And there is an L. Hit him with a good game. Okay, I really like this strategy. The monsters are just screaming around my board. So I'm just thinking Cold Mage, guys. That's the end of this video. I'm thinking Cold Mage. I think this strategy is really, really good. But the deck needs a little bit of help. Because... We're taking monsters out good. I love the fact that you can do a high percent damage to bosses and then you can use a regular meteor to take out the rest of it. I think that's a super cool strategy, but it needs something else. I'm wondering if Executioner, I'm wondering if Cold Mage is gonna be really good. Let me know what else you might think. I was also thinking some maybe, uh, uh, some like splash units. So maybe like a Pretzel Thrower or an Alchemist or an Ivy, maybe I'm crazy. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But I wanted to show off this strategy because it's really, really cool. And I still think it's the best option for if you have a low-level Meteor and you're trying to get those bigger wins. I mean, I've been going up against Demon Hunter every single game, and, uh, and it's a little bit difficult out here. But guys, that is going to be the end of this YouTube video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.